telling someone that you want to marry them does not ruin the surprise of whenever the proposal happens. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, The Proposal. So, so good. The author of the book is Jasmine Guillory. You see the shirt, Boyers Change Careers. The author of this book, is a lawyer, but I'm jumping ahead. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is rom-com or romantic comedy, okay? Off jump. The biggest plot twist comes right in the beginning, but it really lays a foundation for the entire book. And that is that you cannot, you should not propose to someone if you have not discussed marriage, okay? I know that is controversial. It shouldn't be, but it is very controversial. I was proposed to in 2018 at a Mexican restaurant with fortune cookies and a cake. I had no idea when it was coming, but I knew I wanted to marry my husband. We had talked about it. Do you think you want kids? What do you think about working? Would you want to adopt? Do you want to live with me? You have to talk about these things, right? I say all that because this proposal happens. Nick is terrified and people have to come and save her. She's embarrassed. There's all these people looking. There's all this stuff. And let's boil all of that down to one thing. She doesn't want to marry the person that proposed to her. And they had never discussed it. They had only been together for five months, but that wasn't even the problem. You have to know that you want to be married to this person. You need to have discussed. It. I, I would write that on a billboard if I could. Okay, can you discuss it afterwards? Yes, but also the person could say no, they don't want to marry you and how could you think you want to marry me? And so yes, you absolutely must discuss where the relationship is going, okay? It, it's absolutely mandatory. So this book was really cute. It had all of your typical miscommunications, right? That's the whole point of romantic books. Somebody thinks something's happening, then it doesn't happen. And can the couple survive the struggle of the miscommunication? So would I reread the book, The Proposal? Yes. And the main reason that I would read it is because the author, Jasmine Guillory, makes a lot of references to characters in her other books like Theo and the stylist that he's dating. So you meet characters in one of the books and you get to see them change and how their relationships develop. So each book has like built in emotions where you are going to miss the characters, wonder what they're doing. You know, maybe I should reread the wedding date and see where I initially met these characters, right? So that part is really cute and it's really fun that Jasmine includes that in the books. So it's beautiful that you want to be married. You love someone so much you want the government involved in it, okay? That's how I feel about marriage. <laughs> but there needs to be a discussion about whether or not you want to be married and then two, do you want to marry the person you're dating? If you don't have a conversation, you already have communication issues probably that will not bode well for the future relationship. I'm not a therapist, I'm a lawyer, and I read a lot of romantic books. <laughs> so that's my take on it, okay? Let me know, did you have any idea that Jasmine Guillory used to be a lawyer? Do you enjoy cute little romantic books like this? All right, so thank you for hanging out with me today on Kyla's Reading Day, and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.